Dominic, you validated everything the Covert Alliance protocols wrote back there. Come on, T. I'm the only one in the CWA that knows Caesar. I don't care. You betrayed the Alliance, and as for Caesar, he is dead, and that's a fact. That's the old Caesar you're thinking about. This is a successor of sorts. If you do that again, I won't hesitate to kill you. I was trying to help you, but you only care about- Don't finish that sentence if you want to live. I want to know what is on your profile right this instant. All right, fine. I worked for him on developing ORA armor. I did it to survive. Also, putting that on a rap sheet to get into this alliance could have been a bit of a problem. You can't do anything with honesty, so why didn't you stay with him? Things got awkward when I tried to kill him, then failed. You failed an assassination? Didn't you get in here through mercenary work? Jeez, if you're gonna ice me, could you finish up with this whole interrogation thing quicker? I'm not going to ice you, not yet. I want to know everything. Oh yay, boring stories about the past. I think I'd rather get iced. Dominic! Don't we have a job we should be finishing up? Orion can retrieve the data. I'll start the report for Septimus. There seems to be a problem, sir. What a twist. My apologies. There is an inconvenience, sir. Continue, Orion. The black box is data locked. However, the specialist shouldn't have any problems retrieving the encoded and rigged data. Thanks, and it's Dominic. You don't call Tyrael Commander, which makes no logical sense if you insist- Decode the box, and I won't report you for treason. You have by 2100 hours, specialist. The year is 2761. The Day of Atonement. Where all of humanity unites once more to end this of war. The Cold War Alliance, once the political and peaceful mind of the Milky Way, fought against their own armies who declared themselves to be free of They called themselves the Galaxia Exerticus. They turned against the Cold Worlds when the Council decided to end the war with the Tango. The Admiral of the Galaxia Exerticus was named Francirius Pilius. In English, this translates to Caesar. He was ready to unite the Cold Worlds with the Outer Rim until he learned something planned. Francirius Pilius learned that the Council was going to dissolve the armies and no longer supply resources to the Outer Rim. On the Day of Atonement, the Council and Francirius Pilius held the joint meeting on Earth to finally end the war. Due to the atmosphere of Earth destroyed by hundreds of years of turmoil, all were forced to wear armor in order to survive. Pilius also learned that instead of it being a meeting, it was an assassination on his life. Primarius Pilius knew that if he did not agree to the meeting, the war would continue. The man who assassinated him was never seen from again, but he was known to be one of the most dangerous soldiers the whole world's ever had. Instead of the end of the war, Primarius became a martyr for the Galaxia Exoticus. They continued their all-out war against the Cold War. Earth was obliterated by all types of weapons of mass destruction. The Council, and Prime Series Pilius, was destroyed alone. With. The galaxy was a war weapon, consisting of the Cold War Alliance and the Outer Rim. Many years later, a man known as Caesar as one of the commanders of the Outer Rim. By proclaiming he was Prime Series Pilius' son, he recreated Prime Series' armor and has since been trying to rid the galaxy of all things.